got the biggest disappointment was Kong. You know what I mean? Kong, uh, I gave him that platform. Didn't nobody know this guy. What I did to blow him up, I shared, as he was live streaming multiple times, I shared his live stream on my Facebook that has, what, six million people. He gained notoriety from that. He came out here, we collabed, right? And what happened with that relationship, and he, you know, and he's handling his business. He bench pressed and all that. Uh, and what happened with that situation was after my heart attack, I stopped communicating with a lot of people. And just because a guy stopped communicating with you don't mean there's nothing against you, no hard feelings. I'm just a guy where I deal, I'm used to being an introvert, antisocial warrior. If I'm not in the mood to talk, I ain't gonna talk. When I'm in the mood to talk, I'm gonna talk. So guys take offense to that. They getting their feelings, you know what I mean? And uh, that's what this guy did. He could have stayed. He went against me, started doing videos, thinking I said something against him, bench pressing, and just some girly stuff, right? But instead, all he had to do was call me. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Brandon Midwest, Colin Copeland. It's been a minute, but it's been a good minute. I've been extremely busy. I'm helping spearhead our nonprofit, me, C.T. Fletcher, Julius Maddox, Don Singleton. It's called Sons of Abuse Empowerment Project. You can go to sonsofabeast.org, see what we got going on. If you're a company want to donate, we're doing great things. More things coming up. We just launched our first event, which was with a group. Friday was with a group called Rock. Regardless of color, it was a kids group. Shout out to them. Shout out to the nonprofit plug. Then we had a Veterans Day uh, get up, and it, it was amazing, man. So shout out to everybody who supported us last week in Long Beach, California. Unfortunately, today I have to come back to YouTube and address something. And I'm I'm outside in beautiful Ohio because it's probably gonna snow tomorrow, 18 inches of snow. So while I'm enjoying this beautiful weather, it's good for my mental health. They had to chill and cool down. Shout out to Chris Jones and my brother Mac Truck for keeping my head stable when it comes to this situation. Now, my allergies is crazy too, sorry. So, received this video, and in this video, Callie Muscle decided to speak on me. And he told a little bit of the truth and a lot of bullshit, of course. Um, the truth was that he did introduce me to the industry, and I've always stated that. He gave me a platform, eh, he put me on here, so if you wanna say that, I'll, I'll take that. Cali Muscle gave me a platform. I like to say people gave me an opportunity. Two years since Cali, I've been, since Cali put me on this platform, I've flown, did benching events at different gyms, been to multiple cities. I host my own event at Expos called Jungle Wars. My phone ringing always off the hook. I kinda took a break to help with the nonprofit, so, uh, he did give me opportunity. He opened doors for me to meet these people. But at the end of the day, my personality, my energy, my my drive is where I got to where I got after that. Everybody needs some help. All right. Somebody got on somebody platform, even Cali. Cali did a whole bunch of features to get his name out there when he first started. So, yes, he sure did. That is the truth. What is a lie is about the situation about when me and him stopped speaking. Kelly had a heart attack. All right, let's say everything he said in the clip I put earlier was true. That I was in my feelings because he wasn't talking to me and then I made videos about him. That's also a lie, we'll get to that. But if but if your friend had a heart attack, somebody you consider brother, see, the problem with Kelly is he's so much in character. I'm, I'm gonna talk straight to Duke, cause I know he gonna see this. The problem with you, Kelly, is you so, Charles, you so much in character that you don't know what's real around you. When me and you linked up, you was Cali Muscle before me and you spoke. Once me and you spoke and we shared some things together and we actually got together and we clicked, we spoke for five hours, hanging out, laughing and having a good time. People on the internet talking about how good our energy is together. Once we did that, you became my brother. You became Charles Kirkendall to me. Cause you can save all that other stuff on the internet. When you talking to your boy, Brandon, it's a whole different, it's a whole different ball game, right? So yes, at that particular time, you're not just somebody I'm linking up with, you my brother. You signed me to Hyphy Life, I had a year contract, then you had the heart attack. I hit you up multiple times, of course, because 
What type of dude would I, what would your story be if I didn't hit you up? That I was just trying to get clout and the second you get down and out, now you don't hit me up. No, I hit you up, bro, because I was concerned about you. I watched a video of what I consider my brother crying and upset. So yeah, I checked on you like any real dude should. But unfortunately, this internet does not allow people to be real. The fake gets way more likes and subscribers and all of that versus the real, which is why I'm comfortable being where I'm at. I have no regrets of anything I have done with Hyphy Life or Kali. I post it every day for Hyphy Life. Barely got the product. And this is all true. I got, come on, man, I got receipts of everything. And I also got receipts of how often we talked. Kali, when you stopped talking to me and you was posting videos, I knew you were good. I left you alone. And uh, for those of you who say y'all should handle this on the end, not on the internet, on the phone, why don't you tell that to that dude? Because I was on his phone. I was just on his phone last night when I seen the video. Kali, you on the internet. Uh, you on your video the other day, you talking about, man, I, I, I be busy. I got kids too, Callie. I got kids with a father, with a father that's in a, that's disabled. He's paralyzed in the home. He now has cancer. Everybody busy, bro. You ain't the only one with kids. Congratulations on your twins, homie. But everybody busy, bro. Come on, chill. I know you get up in the morning and like you said on your video before, you type your name in just to see who's talking about you. So you at least use your phone for that. But you ain't had to hit me back, man. I just want to know that you was good. Once I seen that, I left you alone. Seen you at the LA Fit Expo. Laugh, love you, bro. Miss you, bro. This and that and the third. But on your video, you talking about how you were introvert and you don't talk to people. But then you talk about people who walked away from you and didn't speak to you no more. But ain't that kind of what you did to me? All right, cool. It was some girl stuff. Come on, Cali. Far from it. 1400 block of G. <laughs> 1400 block, bro. None of us. None of us get down like that. I have never known nobody who spent time in prison, did none of that, who even speak about the stuff they did in prison. I don't know how gangsters in Cali act. No, the ones that I have met don't act like that. Midwest cats don't act like that. So whatever you got going on, bro, it ain't even my energy anyway. But to say that I was on some girl stuff, when you clearly stated, clearly stated, that you were introverts, you don't talk, you don't do this and that. But then he turned around and said, well, people turn their back on me, they don't speak to me. So had I not hit Cali Muscle up after he had a heart attack, what would I have been then? What would his story be then? See, what it is, bro, is you like to throw the rock and hide your hand. You like to say stuff about people. You like to put people in a position and you never take responsibility for what. When have you ever said, man, that was my bad? All you had to do was say, big homie, man, I was going through something, man, my bad. We can still be cool. We can still be cool. You sitting up there talking about we could have still been making videos. No, we couldn't because, bro, I, I, one of my revenue streams is going to gyms and getting paid. My phone rang off the hook. You couldn't do that because you decided to make silly pranks disrespecting people at work till you getting banned from gyms. And you act like it's their fault. Callie, when is you, you going to take responsibility for shit you do? You was locked up in prison. They ain't teach you accountability for that. Ain't no mirrors in your house, homie. So it's always somebody else. This is why Miller ain't around you. This is why they cast, this is why you don't rock with Mack Truck. It ain't nobody but you. You only rock with Big Boy because you need him. That's why. You only rock with Big Boy because you need him. And that's fishy to me too. Because you said I thought you was talking about me in videos, which is interesting. Because yeah, you don't say certain people names, but you do tiptoe around it. Callie, everybody knew you was talking about me. People you know knew you was talking about me. You was referencing things I said in my videos, and you was referencing titles in my videos. So before I even went in and started defending myself to your sucker ass, guess what? I literally watched over and over again, you said verbatim things I said in my videos. Long before, I was on your phone. Callie, what's up, bro? What we doing? Why we acting like that? What, what, tell me what I did to you. What, what we got going on? Nothing. Then you're going to say, making videos about it could have called you. Kelly, I hit you last night. Kelly, I hit you when that happened. But then you just said that you be too busy. You can't talk on the phone. So when was I supposed to call you? Which one is it, bro? Which one is it? Look at your bodybuilding friends. Flex, Flex, Flex Wheeler, Jay Cutler, all these guys you say you respect and you love and Sean Roden was your man and all that. But then you talk about how broke bodybuilders is and they ain't winning nothing and they ain't got this and they ain't got that. So, so wait a minute, is bodybuilders broke or is it just like, except for these people that you're cool with? Is gangsters don't have tattoos, ain't no gangster, I don't have tattoos, but all the shrimp cartel got tattoos. So is it just strip cartel? That's gangster with tattoos or is everybody... See, you always run in your mouth, bro. You're a walking contradiction, homie. 
you're a walking contradiction. So really, I don't understand how people even listen to what you say, or they may not just be paying attention. They may just jump on the bandwagon with everything you got to say. But, bro, you don't even you don't even keep it 100 for a second. Bro, only thing I did was be real to you, was to be your man, be your homie. That's all I did. Wasn't nobody blowing you up crazy. I'm a grown ass man, bro. I was making sure my dude was cool. And once I seen he was, I fell back. I was told, hey, don't, hey, yo, fall back. When you start disrespecting me and then you sitting up there making fun of me, getting emotional when we did the video in honor of me surviving 20 years from almost being murdered, you making fun of me. We all knew what that was, bro. It was clear as day. You making fun of that and you talk about somebody in their feelings, but you on your live video crying, talking about somebody talking about your watermelon challenge, which is funny to me too, because where you got that from is from a cat from my city. It's funny how that worked. But you on there crying, talking about you kick in doors and you kill this and you kill that. Hey, bro, Keefy D, he just went to jail for killing Tupac 27 years ago. What real gangster talking about doing crime like that? So, so you all of these things, bro, and then you're not as motivator and you this and that, you third. Hey, man, do what you do. It's all good, bro. Hey, man, ain't no hard feelings. Because since you, I've elevated. I don't need the biggest following. I still do what I need to do. I don't need you to vouch for me or say nothing else. You never vouch for me anyway. The only person that truly helped me in this industry, that truly helped me solid in this industry is C.T. Fletcher. It's C.T. Fletcher, which is why we business partners now. So let's do this. If I'm a, if I'm a problem, why don't we ask C.T. Fletcher? Why don't we ask Chef Rush? I was in his home. That's your, that's your man, right? Ask Indio Champ, that's your man, right? Right? Indio Champions, right? Uh, the Flex Wheeler. Ask Flex Wheeler. That's your man, right? Why are you the only one that got something to say? But you know what's crazy is I always knew when people cruise change all the time, it really ain't the cruise. Kelly, ain't nobody running around jealous of you. The reason why people don't fuck with you is because the way you are. You don't fuck with them. Now, I ain't saying ain't nobody ever screwed you over. But what I'm talking about is me and you. The reason my, I was a problem to you, bro, because I was real love to you, fam. I was I was a real brother to you, fam, and I don't think you can you you could have the responsibility of giving that back, cause I heard how you talked about your brother who committed suicide. So I should have known I had no chance, cause I ain't your blood. But you know what time it was, bro. Any time, any place, man. You know I had you. So for you to act like I was on some sucker shit and I was crying about you not calling me, bro. Let, let's just say this: I got feelings for people I care about. I lost a homie not shortly or right before I came to see you to cancer. I've been losing people since I was eight years old. Scott Marshall died in my arms. So yeah, I do have a, I do have a soft heart for my homeboys. They pain is my pain, bro. So when you had the heart attack, I had that shit with you. I had that shit with you. So that make me a sucker, then I'll be a sucker to you and all your little minions who follow you on the internet. But know this, this is why you ain't got no real homies, bruh. You ain't got no real homies because you have no idea what true love is, bro. That's a fact. Shout out to Mack Truck. Mack Truck is a real one. I know everybody's talking about Mack Truck be doing this, Mack Truck doing this. No, y'all just don't know the dudes that Mack Truck talk about. Shout out to Mack Truck because of Mack Truck, when he told me to stop, I stopped. I let it go. I ain't say another word about it because at that point, I didn't understand the energy. And see, for me, not, I'm not no gangster. I ain't this and I ain't that, but I'm about the business, though. So if you was gonna talk about me like that, you was gonna talk about a situation and, and mock a situation that my mama was crying about, that people was worried about me about, when you was gonna talk about that, then I was gonna have to see what was up. When I put the video, said I'd be in LA, January 13th, I was, I was, I've been back and forth to LA. If you had something to say to me, you coulda. But you ain't got nothing to say, bro, because you throw the rock and hide your hand. So now, the person who call everybody demons is the biggest demon himself. Because the elevation of me without you, bro. Talking about you trying to make a star? Who you trying to make a star, bro? Who you trying to make a star? You got a page that's called HypeLife.com with a bunch of people who you introduced as your ambassadors and you ain't updated it since June 2022. Who you making a star, homie? Who? Who? Nathaniel? NAQ coaching? The dude who worship the ground you walk on try to do everything like you? Try to be just like you? Nah, bro, you don't care nothing about that. You, you don't care nothing about that, bro. You wasn't even sending me the product on time. I wasn't even getting the shipping on time. I was taking empty bottles of hyphen when acting like I was taking scoops just to promote your shit, homie. Come on, man. 
If you're going to talk about it, man, talk about it real or don't talk about it at all. I'm the one you shouldn't say nothing about. Because this one, I'm going to tell you, I'll be back in L.A. I'll hit you up again. I hit you last night. You ain't answer the phone. I hit you up again. You want to do this Internet stuff? Then we can go live, man. Let's show our phones. Let's show how many times I hit you up. Let's show the conversations we had. But you're not going to do that. So this is what you shouldn't do. Don't say nothing about me. Congratulations on all your success, bro. I hope the kid's doing good. I seen you got married, man. Congratulations, man. And I hope you're doing well. But listen, you already knew from day one when we start, first started rocking on Facebook, we first got cool. Bro, I wasn't that energy, homie. What, what's going on, bro? The watermelon challenge and all that, that ain't did good for you, bro. They ain't help you out, man. The, the, the raffles and all that for the cars ain't working. You will come back to old Kong, man. But I'm in a different place, bro. So I, I don't, I don't want to shatter your teeth like I did before. What I want to do is give you a hug and say, bro, just, just give me a hug, Callie. Let's talk about it, bro. Let's go over here and have a seat. I'm going to tell you, man to man, use a sucker for what you did. You can tell me how you feel and we can move forward. But if not, keep my name out your mouth, bro. And you don't have to. I'm just, I just suggest you do. Because you ain't got no real nothing to say. You just talking. And I don't know if it's the nutrition that you missing because you're doing these don't eat for this many days. I know I'm fat, bro, man. I'm on my way to a heart attack. I'm sorry. I'm fat. I know how you feel. I'm, I'm fat, bro. But... Whatever it is, bro, you know, you know me, homie. You, you know, and you know that ain't what it is, bro. So anyway, man, I'm back. Shout out to Mac Truck, man. Shout out to Chris Jones. Shout out to everybody, man, who wants some positive stuff. Shout out to the Sons of a Beast, man. Love y'all, man. Shout out to my homie Sam. He a sucker too. Nah, I'm just joking. But anyway, that's all I want to say, man. I'm gonna get back on this YouTube, man. I apologize. I've been gone. If y'all actually give a shit about that, but. Let me just say this. I don't want no comments. Or y'all put whatever y'all want. But don't be saying, call him on the phone. Y'all should do this. Y'all should do that. I've been, I've been on that. These cats on this, on this platform like to do things like this. So I don't have a publicist. I have to defend myself. So I'm telling y'all right now, with receipts and all that, on my grandmother's grave, Callie Muscle was lying. Charles, you are lying, bro. That's a lie what you told. That's a lie what you told. I'm going to chalk it up to the fact that you ain't had no, no vitamins. You ain't, you ain't had no good nutrition. But that's a lie what you told, bro. All that shit you said was a lie, fam. That, that was a lie, bro. I ain't even that guy. Don't play me like that, man. And like I said, if you want to see your boy, man, we talk private. We ain't there. I got to speak on this again on the net. You want to see your man, hit me up, bro. When I come to Cali, man, I'll hug you, man, tell you I love you, bro. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. I don't want nothing bad. You got kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? But don't shit on me, man. Don't do that. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. And I'm in a better place, so I'm going to take it like that. Because had I have ran into you two years ago, it would have been a different energy, man. And this real man talking. This real man talking, bro. I don't do internet stuff. I don't know how to do that. I'm only responding here because that's what you're doing. I'm not going to let you push smell on my name, bro. But all that shit said you was a lie. I only checked on you because I cared about you, bro. I wasn't blowing your damn phone up. And had I not checked on you, then I'd have been a sucker for that. Like, subscribe to YouTube channel, man. I'll see y'all next time here in beautiful Ohio, man. Well, y'all should come visit. Maybe you shouldn't. Invite me to where y'all at, man. Sons of the Beast, man, Empowerment Project.